Kay back with another video for you guys. Um, right now it is 9.52. <sighs> As you can see, I haven't let my blinds up yet. I'm just waking up. Um, I have a hair appointment at 1.30 today. After that, I think I want to go see Queen and Slim. And then after that, there's supposed to be a celebrity basketball game at my school, Clayton State. So we might hit that up. I'm not sure. Um, so just stay tuned. See you in a bit. All right, guys, it's been a couple of hours. I have showered, got myself ready, and now I'm on my way to my hair appointment. Um, I'm probably going to get a wash and a blowout on my actual hair. So I won't have to keep wearing my wig, which is nothing wrong with it. I still love it. The curls are still popping. Um, I'm gonna probably wash my wig too when we get there. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. You might see a couple ladies in the shop. I might record some girl talk. I might not, you never know. But um, like I said, I'm on my way to go get my hair done. I want to go get the Popeye sandwich because I am a little hungry. But I'm thinking that I will just go afterwards. So we'll see how I'm feeling when I get there. I might just grab a snack from the gas station. Um, yeah. I don't too much know what else to say. Other than I finally, my hair... It's finally getting some TLC, period. But um, I think I really want to go see Queen and Slim. I think I do. So I might do that after I get my hair done, depending on what time she finishes or how long she has me sitting in the dryer and blah, blah, blah. If I'm up to it, I might just go see Queen and Slim. So I will catch you guys when we get to the salon. I always wait for the end to take my lunch. So I can just come back for lunch and go home. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I wait till like an hour. Post office? You know, I went nodding off. It probably just gets so, I don't know. I gotta be able to talk to people. <laughs> That's why I can't, I can't do that all day long. They work my nerves. What? Oh, ladies. Oh, yeah. Talking and stuff. Yeah, them old ladies be the worst. And them attitudes. Oh, yeah. And, you know, they always feel like they... Know everything. Yeah, okay? Time, and superior, like, oh, I've been here, so I'm going to show you how it's done and Young stuff like that. Is. Yeah. I don't like that. You got it. Say hi, Em. Hi. How you doing? All right, y'all. All right, so, we start in the process of getting good. Period. Okay? You look good. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That was awkward. Y'all help me. It was scary. It was scary. <laughs> That's all about. Ooh, that was awkward. <laughs> Yo, but um, what was I about to say? Yeah, the way she got up, she got up so promptly. I was like, ooh, <laughs> I was yeah, like, ooh. I, didn't, it <laughs> I thought, I thought something was about to go down. That's why I had to let y'all go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> <Guess> so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all, this feels like heaven. Listen, if you want your scalp to still be there, but you still want it to be scratched, I'll let your girl. Okay, because, honey, let me tell you, I went to the beauty school before I started coming to M. Before I knew she was back in the city, before I knew she was back in the city, that girl tore my scalp up. 
<laughs> oh! And you know how like you be flinching? I was ooh, ooh, I was flinching. She was like, "What's wrong?" I said, "Girl, you was digging the life out of my scalp." She was like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry." And then she was like, "Oh, I broke a nail." And I was like, "Girl, if you don't get out my head, You're supposed to cut that off." <laughs> I was like, "Bitch, get out my head." I was like, "Get out my head." And then she trying to, she was trying to, what you call it, my hair, like, flat iron. You know, you can't flat iron no hair on no open sores. Oh, I was so mad. I was so mad. Like, the steam and everything was burning. I wanted to snatch her. <laughs> so I'm weak. I'm weak. That's her mama though. Mm. I need to, oh, M. Okay, so I need to find a good, like, person, like an esthetician that does, like, good facials and stuff. Um, Rosalind, what's her Instagram name? Rosalind, Rosalind Michelle, Skin Cold. Go to Instagram, I'm gonna show you what it is. I gotta be back. Alright, y'all. So. Under the dryer, I know everybody hates this part. I actually like it. It doesn't really bother me too much. What bothers me is the fact that my hair holds, um, my hair holds water and heat, so it takes a minute for my hair to actually dry dry. So I have to be under here for every. But. I get to look at the pretty Christmas decorations while I'm here. But yeah, so that's the only thing that I don't like. I want her to cut this. I want her to cut it because I still have some stringy ends. <clears throat> that's heat damage, so that needs to come off. Progress. <laughs> Girls. Anyway. Um, okay, so previously I did a video the other day on how I offended somebody racially. So this girl, her name is I'm not gonna say it out loud, but it's it sounds really Latina. So I had two um, Hispanic patients and I was like, hey, um, I was like, hey, do you speak Spanish? I'm not understanding and I need to, you know, escort them somewhere. And she got an attitude. She was like, no, do I look like I'm Spanish? Did I give you the assumption that I was Spanish? Did I tell you I was Spanish? And I was like, oh shit, like, I didn't think anything of it. I said, I apologize. So I kept it moving. I had the two patients and I was like trying to find my way. I was like, whatever, we'll figure it out. So my supervisor came to me and was like, you need to mind what you say to people. You know, some things that you could say could be offensive. So I want to know, do, would you find that offensive? If I was like, okay. Yeah, so I'm saying like, okay. If I said, oh, she's pretty and she's brown skinned. Could she be Indian? Like, I could see how that could, you know, be offensive, but I never came to her in a way that you was didn't like. Ask her a basic question. You right. Didn't speak Spanish. You didn't say, are you Mexican? Right. So I, I went and I asked my mom, I was like, hey, um, well, I called her on my break and I was like, let me tell you what happened. You know me, let me tell you what happened. Apparently, I was like, apparently my aunt offended somebody because I asked them if they was, you know, Hispanic or Latina. She was like, why? She said, it's not like he was like, oh, here, you speak Spanish, right. take them. Right. So, she came to me afterward and was like, I just want you to know, I found that very offensive because I never gave you, she said, did I ever tell you? She said, I never told you that I was Spanish, so what would have made you thought? around announcing that they're Spanish. Right. So, I wanted to know if I was right or wrong. I didn't think you did anything wrong. Okay. 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 And then my supervisor, like I said, my supervisor was like, you need to watch what you say. Um, doing his job. Right. You need to watch what you say. You know, some things could be 
Okay. <laughs> she said done. Okay. Um. He was like, you need to watch what you say. Some things could be offensive. I know you didn't mean it that way because you seem like a genuine person, blah, blah, blah. But just watch it and, you know, stay away from her. So I'm like, is it really that deep that I can't do my job and communicate with my teamwork, my teammates that, you know, I work with on a daily basis? I just thought, I don't know. I just thought that was... Right, but she called me racist. She called me a racist. Yes. Yes. Reaching, girl. So that's why I'm like, okay, was I wrong? Am I racist? Like, what? Hmm? She's black. She's Am I, doing, she following protocol. She got to say something to you. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And, and I totally like, respect it. But for her to be far-fetched and call me a racist. That's, no, the girl did. Right. Right. So I was just like, at this point, I'm just going I'm just going to stay away from you. Because yeah, she's looking for some. Right. And I ain't got time. I just I like my job and I like my coworkers. Choa. Do you have care of Atlanta? Yeah, I was like, ooh. Okay. Ooh. Y'all, this is the cutest thing in the whole wide world. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh my god. Oh, little cosmetology. Look how she's holding it. I love it. <gasps> Look. Oh, yes. Okay. Doing good. But yeah, I bought this wig like two years ago, and it's been sitting. So cute. <laughs> and London is <laughs> infatuated with this wig. <laughs> oh, talk to it, girl. You recording her? I'm about to send it to my mama. Every time she come in, she points to that wig. No, soon she get in. It's so funny every time. You gotta get her a brats dog. Brats on I'll get one for Christmas. Comment. So serious. I love it. The way she reads it. Okay. She likes she used to it. <laughs> yes, hair. Yeah, she do need to be cut though. I really want all this blonde gone, but I'm scared. Wow, this is so dark. You can always do whatever cover you want to do after that, but yeah. you need to go back to a clean slate. I feel like putting dye on top of dye is not going to mess it up more. No, you just have to do it right. You have to do, it has to be color corrected. Okay. You don't have to ask Belinda what all uh, steps she thinks will be necessary to get you back to that color. Mm -hmm. like, even if it's like dark or black to like a dark brown. Yeah, I'll ask her. I'll take a picture of your hair and you finish and ask her. Okay. Bit. All right, guys, as you can see, just got my hair done. Um, we had a couple conversations in the shop today, but some were a little personal, so I didn't post all of them. I will, um, I will give y'all a little clip of our racism chat excuse me i kind of use the same scenario that i gave y'all the other day i said i changed the people um yeah i changed the people just to get a different opinion from a diverse group of women um uh oh yeah so now i am on my way home I wanted to go see Queen and Slim, but um, the movie doesn't start until late, and I have to work early in the morning, so I just figured that I would go home. Uh-oh, can I make this light? Can I make, can, I make, can I make this light? I just figured that I would go home and finish watching Christmas movies with my little brother. Um, yeah. I might grab some food first and then go. Today, my I expected my hair to be a certain amount, but it wasn't. Thank you, Jesus. She um she's been my stylist forever now, like forever, forever. And she's been taking care of my hair um since I've been back home. And she's been doing a marvelous job. 
it's getting dark guys so may not be able to see you or you may not be able to see me but um just know i'm on my way home i'm about to stop and get some food and then head to the crib so i will see y'all when i get home bye